it's David Shane. Welcome inside of this video. I'm going to go through everything and show you how today went. Today was incredible. I went out, took some photos, sold two jobs. Incredible, good sales. Uh, but now what we've done is we've included, when the contract comes from the PDF out of Roofing Estimator Pro, it's now availability. I found an app that will allow you to sign on the app and email a copy of that to your customer and to yourself once they sign. And it's incredible. It's a great way and a good addition to close the sale that night so you're not waiting around and just driving around. I had a guy say, geez, Dave, I don't want to just send estimates all around. I want to sell the deal. And that's what it's all about. I want you to make more money, and I'm going to show you how I do that. Let's go in. I'm going to show it on the computer. I can't do a screen capture on the software itself, but we definitely can do it with a camera. Let's go check it out. Okay, David DeShane, welcome back to the video. And now I don't have a screen capture program for the iPad, so I have to just use the camera. I don't know if it's kind of dark, but uh, that's the best we can do with what we have here to work with on the uh, on the screen capture. Now the iPad, what I've done is I actually I bought a nice little keyboard, the wireless keyboard that goes with it. You know, it closes right up, so when I go out to the job site, I can put all my information in. But I like it because I can set it right up on the table. And I can have like a little mini uh, type of, you know, type along, almost like a little bit of a notebook. So it's really nice and it's clean. It's a wireless keyboard. I like it because it's easy to use and key easy to keep track of, uh, of the information on the client. Now, first of all, the thing that I'm going to go through, it has a calendar built in, the customer's information, the estimate, the photos, the suppliers, and the products for the job. Now, all this stuff has its own little dashboard and pages. And what I'm going to show you now is the estimates that we've created and how you can do this. Now, I'm just going to go into the customer. I'll go to the estimate sheet. Now, I've already made a couple of these already. So what I'm going to do is just go into David Testing. And I'm going to send one of these to me as well. We'll go ahead and open that up. Click on the first one. It has a list of all the items that are in there with the, with the information. $16,000 job. Uh, the items that I put in there, it has you know the landmark shingles description of the job, it has a roof installation, and the payment terms, 50% uh, initial and 50% of the job. Now if you want to update the estimate, if you make a change, just click the update button. That'll just say that it's been updated su successfully and ready to go. So let's go back to the estimates, and this you can go right through the pages the way we came in, or you can just hit the home button. But basically that is how you do the change on the estimate. Now. What I want to do is send this to myself. So me as the user, automatically, whatever your user setup rights are on the software, you will get a copy of that email. So let's go to my email box. That will automatically send that immediately. What I say is recommend is you set up your email box on your iPad. That way there, it will get sent to you immediately. I just did it on a Google. But you'll see that this came right in that quick. And when you open that up, it's going to be in a PDF format. So you might need a PDF reader to do that, but it's really pretty straightforward. Let me, let me close this. I think I had one open before that. Let me open that again. Okay, there it is. So that is the complete uh, PDF that comes into your customer, and it also goes to your email box. It has all the information about the customer, the name, the client, the phone number, uh, any of the stuff that we're doing up here. Uh, let's see, we got the the description totally about the job, the payment terms that are in there. Uh, let's go down to the second page which has all the job description, the payment information, the payment schedule, the roof, uh, complete roof installation, any of your terms that you have. These are editable. You can change all of your acceptance terms. What we're more concerned about in this video is to get an authorized signature from you, the company, and also from the client. And, we'll, and, you know, down we have photos in there, so you can see you can put photos in. I only put one in there just to show on the video. Um, but, of course, your terms and conditions, if you want your client to sign, this does, the terms and conditions does have the three-day rescission period that's in here. They have three days to cancel for any jobs, and there may be a restocking fee if it's a beyond the three-day period. So what I'm going to do now is use an app that I, that's called um, Sign My iPad, and what that is, it's a great little program. It brings it automatically over to this, this software for you, and basically it's ready to go. So your first page, you're not making any signatures on this page. If you wanted to, you could have them initial down the right-hand corner. 
But we're going to go to the second page, which is, this is all the documentation, the acceptance terms, and all the things that you want to have your customer sign. So we'll go into signatures, and we're going to add a new signature. So we'll go ahead and click on signature. Down here is where you can actually have your client sign their name. And if you don't think this is powerful, guys, I don't know what is to have, you know, something this great out of the software, have this availability. So we basically take the name up. We'll touch it up to the to David and Shane. I'm going to go ahead and size that up. I'm going to make it bigger just by sliding that over. And, you know, this, this is great. And we don't want to delete it, so we're just going to leave it right there. And now the date, if you want to put a date in, same idea. You just go up and click Add, and you've got text, signatures, checkbox, radio box, and date. So we're going to click on the date. It's going to automatically give you a chance to scroll down any of the date and times that you might have. We're just going to go ahead and click on Done. Automatically put your signature in and the date right there. Now, the customer, that's your company. Now, let's go up to the, com the customer version. So we'll click on that. We'll go ahead and add a signature again for your client. Click the signature, and we'll call this Mr. Jones. You know, he's basically signing with this nice fancy pen. It's a $8 pen I got over at the Apple Store. And this, this little uh, signature, we maximize it so he has a full-size signature now. And again, let's go ahead and put the date on there. We'll click Done. Let's put his date in. Click Add. And again, you, got, you can change text. You can have a text box, whatever you want. Click on the date. You can move them around. You know, grab the date, move it. And that's done. So basically, let's go to Menu. And it's going to go Save. Take a second. We'll go ahead and create that. It says successfully been changed. And now your contract has its signature automatically ready to go to the customer. And I'm going to show you something that's very powerful. Now let's go ahead and it has these two arrow buttons, upstream, downstream. Let's go ahead and email this. You can send it to the app. You can send it, whoop, let's touch the screen. You can send it to a printer, to the app, to an email. And what I'm going to do is just send it to the email. And that way there you can have it to my email address. So I'll go ahead and put that in. And there it is right there. And you go ahead and CC. You basically put your customer copy there and put your name there. Uh, if you want to, the, the estimate terms, you can have a uh, roofing estimate. Estimate from David to Shane. You know, basically whatever you have for your terms, you, whatever you want to write. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm basically writing, I'm typing upside down in front of the camera, so it's hard for me to even do this. Estimate, yeah, 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 let's see. From David Deshane. David Deshane, or your company name, whatever you want to put in there, but for this little quick video, I'm just going to go ahead and put my, my personal name in. But that's done. That's ready to go. So what I'm going to do is send. And you'll see that it automatically has been sent to the queue. Thank you. Job's done. Let's go back and check our email. The good thing is once, you, um, once this is done, you hit the back button. And I just heard the list go up. But you also have a PDF list. So if you have a list of clients that you're working with already, you'll have the list and it's ongoing. You can also add another folder if you want just by adding this and you can set up a folder, download to any way you want. It's really great. There's an instructions folder here. Let's go ahead and edit out of here and get back to the main main page. And I want to show you that email that came in. And I'm going to click done on that. And here's the one that I just sent to me, a roofing estimate from David DeShane. And your client will get a copy of this as well. So you can get them signed up and their signatures on the uh, PDF and it's right out of Roofing Estimator Pro, you know, the contract instantly. Now look how fast that is. If that isn't powerful and high tech, I don't know what it is. But anyway, this is David DeShane from Roofing Estimator Pro. I appreciate your time on this video and I look forward to working with you. If you guys aren't getting a copy of this, now is the time because Roofing Estimator Pro, we're building a network of uh, roofing systems for you guys to make more money and, of course, to have the, the technology, to everything to be web-based. We'll see you guys in the next video. Go down and sign up and get a copy of this right now. We'll see you soon.